Hey everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode in my scrolling platformer tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be showing how to add the background into the game to take the game from this to this. But before we get into the episode, don't forget to flick the like button and boop the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. But anyway, let's get coding. Alrighty, so I have four new sprites. One is called background, one is called background layer one, background layer two, and background layer three. In the background, background it's the same layout as the ground it goes zero 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 one and then zero two and it's this nice looking background then one zero one 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 two it's the exact same layout as a ground so if you don't know how that works make sure to go watch my last video because i explain how that works so it goes from zero zero to five Two. That way it fits the map. Then I have background layer one, which is just a cool background. Then background layer two, which is going to be even farther back. And last but not least, I have background layer three, which is just some nice pink looking clouds. And then we have a new costume in the background, which is just like a starry sky with a bright shiny moon called default. And of course, if you don't want to make all this art, then you can check the link in the description and head over to my art for this project. So that way you can use the exact same art that I made. Okay, so I'm going to start with the easiest one. So click onto the ground visible, pull all these scripts from there into the background. Now you should see as soon as we start, it kind of, it looks like it's just glued on the background is. I want to make it parallax. To do this, we need to change some values in this script right here. Pull out a divided by and then a plus and put the divided by in the left side of the plus. Pull out the scroll x and do divided by 1.5 plus 100 and then put that in the minus section. Now go ahead and duplicate that and replace that scroll x with scroll y and delete that extra scroll x and now put that in there and instead of plus 100 do plus 350. So now you should see the background parallaxes and oh man that looks super good and as long as you put all of the costumes in the right spot so remember how it works last episode it starts at zero zero and goes one up and then another one up and that is this one so that's how you can know where to put it alrighty now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and add the first background layer this is what really starts to make this game look like a real game click on to background layer one or B G layer one, plot a wind green five click, hold up by a hide block and a switch costume to one just to make sure it's reset. Now add a new variable for this sprite only, super important that you do that, and name this ground X. Then go ahead and make another for the sprite only variable called ground Y. Make sure you do for the sprite only for both of those. Now go ahead and in the very beginning set ground X to zero and then set ground Y to 13 or 1300. Now create clone of myself, change ground X by 480, which is one screen's width, and then create clone of myself. Now when I start as a clone, go to the very back layer, show, and then a forever loop. Pull out a go to block, scroll X, and then take that divided by four, which is how much it's going to parallax. Then we're going to take that minus the ground x. Now we're going to take that times negative one. Put this in a mod block like so. 960 which is 480 times two. Then take all of that minus 480. Now put that in the x loop right there. Now for the y, we are going to do scroll y minus ground y times negative one divided by four and put that in the y like so. So now let's go ahead and test this out. Look at that. You should see that no matter how far you go, that this infinitely keeps going over and over. Okay, so you may be wondering, how does this all work? How does it infinitely loop. It is all with this mod block right here. So let me show you what this is doing. I'm going to go to Turbo Warp. If I click on Advanced and I set the custom stage size to 1920 by 1080, which is the size of a computer screen, you can see how our game actually works. So if you go ahead and watch the background, once the background gets too far, it just loops around. You see that? So it's on the right. Now I go to the left and it teleports to the left. But it 
it does that all seamlessly so I can't even see it. And it works the exact same way with the tile ground. If I get low enough, it loads in those two chunks, but once I jump, it unloads it. And that's how we can have infinitely large maps, as long as you put the list in. So that is actually how this game works. You can see it's actually pretty cool how it loads in the game as we're actually playing, but it's seamless to where you can't tell. So it's pretty cool. The background with the pink trees works the same way. You can see that it just cycles around. Now that you see how this block actually works, let's go ahead and continue by adding the next background. Pull in all of the code from background layer 1 to background layer 2. In background layer 2, set the ground y to 1500 here, and then take scroll x divided by 8 and scroll y divided by 8 there. Now you should see that we have our second background and it will work the same way. It'll infinitely loop and that adds a lot. So let's add our final background, which is a cloud. So pull in these three two, no, not three, two scripts into the cloud and set the ground x to zero, set the ground y to 700, and take this divided by 15 for both of these. So finally, now we have our whole entire background and it looks super awesome. You can see that it's nicely parallaxing and it's super smooth looking and it just fills in that whole void back there. Makes it not look so empty. Looks like a polished full game. All right, so that was the end of this shorter episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more Scratch tutorials and videos like this. But anyway, this has been Owen, and I am out. Hmm.